We're all used to V8s, V6s and inline fours, but there's one engine layout that has barely ever been used in cars throughout history, and it sounds a bit like this. is the Porsche 919 Hybrid, one of the fastest racing cars ever built, and it's powered by a V4 engine. So, why is the V4 so rare, and why did the 919 use it? Found predominantly in motorbikes, a V4 is simply four cylinders in a V formation. What makes a V4 so good is that it's compact, which makes it stiff, making packaging such an engine a hell of a lot easier. They also have nice short crankshafts, which means there's less unwanted vibration as the engine rotates. Actually, if the engine banks are set at 90 degrees to one another, the primary forces during reciprocation actually balance each other out, making for nice smooth operation. These engines are rare, however, because they're more complicated and expensive to develop than a normal inline engine. There's normally two valve trains, two cylinder heads, and two exhaust manifolds. Also, if the cylinder banks are at less than 90 degrees to each other, the engine can become unbalanced, meaning you need to add weights or even a balancing shaft to keep things running smoothly. All of these factors outweigh the plus points of the V4, hence why it's only been used in a few cars like the Saab Sonnet, the Ford Taunus, and the Lancia Fulvia. Actually, Lancia were pretty smart with their V4, making the angle narrow enough to fit it with only one cylinder head, rather than two. So, considering all of these drawbacks, why did Porsche opt for a V4 in its Le Mans winning LMP1 car? Well, the rules for LMP1 were pretty free when it came to picking a powertrain, with the only real rule coming down to the fuel consumption. The Porsche 919 was a hybrid LMP1 car, meaning it had a pretty simple choice either a big, powerful hybrid system and a small, efficient combustion engine, or a smaller hybrid system and a larger combustion engine. Porsche went for the most powerful hybrid option, meaning it needed a powerful, yet efficient engine, meaning a four-cylinder engine would be perfect. The team went for the rear V layout, which delivered about 500 brake horsepower to the rear wheels, and it's the most efficient combustion engine Porsche has ever made. The hybrid system sent power to the front wheels of the 919, turning it into a 900 brake horsepower instant torque monster that needed plenty of space for its hybrid gubbins. The V format of the engine against an inline four cylinder allowed for plenty of space to fit a turbocharger and a hybrid system, keeping things nice and compact. Another reason for using a V4 over an inline 4 is that it is much more stiff, which means you can use it as a structural member of the car. That reduces packaging and keeps the whole car as rigid as possible. And in racing, stiffness is everything. The Porsche engineers then took things a step further with their V4, creating the 919 Hybrid Evo. They de-restricted the engine from around 500 horsepower up to 720 brake horsepower, which, when combined with hybrid and aero upgrades, led to the Nürburgring lap record getting smashed. So, the V4 engine is expensive, complicated and mostly unbalanced, but put in the right hands, it can be a true world beater. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below with what you'd like us to explain next.